What's going on guys? My name is Zach with the Oscar your Wizard and I don't really wanted I don't really want to make this video, but I kind of have to make this video. Not in the sense I don't want to go out and create great content for you guys, but I'm disappointed with what I'm showing you. Not quality wise, like I said, but um the reason I'm showing you, and it's because the Call of Duty Ghost app sucks. That's it. I mean you can't really break it down that much more but I'll try throughout this video um, Activision support I guess is the way to go to try and uh, get your Call of Duty problems fixed I'll link their Twitter in the description below and I'll tag them in the title of this video so when you like it and when you like it and you connect your YouTube and Twitter it will push it on Twitter I will see that you liked it and Activision support will see the video and we really have to just get this video to them because they said they're fixing clan problems uh, especially with the clan app they put out an update for it recently and it still didn't fix it the call of duty put such a big emphasis on this brand new app and i'm just looping the uh... the ipad screen here for you um, they put such a big emphasis on on the app and all its features but it doesn't work that well they put another big um, a big emphasis i know i keep saying the same thing they uh, put a big focus on the second screen features. Now, I tweeted at multiple members of the Infinity Ward Call of Duty team uh, asking when the second screen features would roll out. And just recently, they finally did, and I was all excited to try it out. But it was not at all like I thought. In the video that was put out um, just a day or two before the second screen features went live, uh, they gave us more disappointing news. You'd be able to create your class and push it to the game. Okay, we've been able to do that already without connecting it to the second screen. Um, maybe we have, maybe we haven't. I don't know. Not many people use it. Um, and then the other feature they showed off was being able to see your after-match stats. How you did, your KD, who your nemesis was. The stuff that should be in the game, you can look down and see it on your iPad. Now, why you can't just press the back button and see all that information, I don't know when you're in a post-game lobby, but it's to the, the the COD gods will make these decisions. What I would like to see from Activision and Call of Duty, Beachhead, whoever makes this app, and it's the official one, I would like it to I would like to see it function more like the Call of Duty Elite app. Personally, I thought there was nothing wrong with it. They from what I understand about apps, they could have changed it around. They probably could have added a Clan Wars feature. On the old app, on the Elite app, you could create your classes, you could change your classes, you could push it to the game. There was no need for second screen this and that. And like I said at the beginning, it sucks not only because of all this mumbo jumbo that doesn't work that well, but the app's just slow. It's sluggish, there's a lot of delay in it, things don't work very well, and really, it's quite limited. The only purpose this app serves, and it is on um, iPad, iPhone, Android, all that good stuff, the only purpose it serves is to manage your clan, because for some reason, this time, this year, um, Activision and Call of Duty decided, oh, people don't need to go on the website and do it, just make them use it on their device, right? Because that makes sense. Why not have a website for this? It would make the whole experience, the whole experience, so much smoother, and everything would just work beautifully. It could all be one. I mean, the website worked very well, I thought, for managing clans, clan operations, and I know the whole clan ops thing is different now. It's clan wars, but I don't think the experience will be taken away by moving it from mobile devices to the computer on a web browser. So, I would like to see. A complete revamped update of this app I don't know if you can make it much faster maybe it's just my iPad I'm on the iPad too but the second screen features need to be fixed and I would like to see some additional second screen features be added it's so limited what you can do with the second screen that it's almost a worthless feature to include why not create my classes in game I don't know why that's a problem I can't view my after match stats in the aftermath in the post game lobby I can oh, oh oh I can oh that's great why do I need an app for it the only reason the app is there is for clan wars 
So why not make an exclusive Clan Wars app and then just let everything else work in game flawlessly? It doesn't work like it was advertised. It's quite disappointing that it doesn't work like that. And I'm just generally disappointed with the app. Activision, if you're listening, please revamp this. I mean, make it better. I mean, second screen should be such a new thing. It should be exciting and people should want to use it. That's the key. No one wants to use this. It's like Google+. Plus. The second screen, it'd be amazing if I could see my mini-map in-game with no delay on my iPad. How cool would that be? I think the users would love it. And Madden, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can pick your plays. Your playbook is on your iPad. That's a great second screen. Battlefield has some sort of second screen experience. Use the second screen. Now, maybe it'd be better to incorporate that through the Smart Glass app. That Xbox makes because I know that's a much more direct way of doing it than through the app because that directly connects to your Xbox not just the COD servers but I hope in some luckily, luckily graced former fashion I don't know what I'm saying um, <laughs> you know what I mean and if some chance that Activision watches this I'd love for them to take some notes listen and I think that a lot of the users of this app are also disappointed. So, thank you for listening to my rant about the Call of Duty Ghost app. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and connect your Google Plus and YouTube, YouTube account to Twitter so it shares it on there. Make sure Activision sees it. Make sure Call of Duty, the community managers see it. And most of all, I'd like to see your support on this video. Um, it's really disappointing uh, that it doesn't work. Another feature of the Call of Duty that doesn't work this year. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Google+. Until next time, Wizard out.